there's nothing good in us, Lord. We need more of you. Come on, sing it. More of you and less of me. And more of you and more of you, Jesus. Apart from you, we can do nothing, your word says, Lord Jesus. the vine we are the branches apart from you we can do nothing sing it out more of you and less of me more of you and less of me full reliance and more full dependency full dependency on the lord more of you and less of me come on more of you the cry of our hearts, Lord. We can do nothing without you. More of you and less of me. More of you and less of me. And more of you. And more of you, Jesus. We can't take our next breath without you, Jesus. More of you and less of me. More of you and less of me. And more of you. And more Anytime I've tried to do it my way, anytime you've tried to do it your way, it never works out good. Come on, tell the truth, shame the devil. But when we do it God's way, and we say more of you, less of me, more of your spirit, less of my strength, my flesh, more of you, apart from you I can do nothing, then we see God move on our behalf. Can I get an amen from somebody tonight? that says, man, there's nothing good in me unless God puts it in me. There's nothing good on me unless God puts it on me. There's nothing good happening through me unless God happens through me. I need to put on Jesus tonight. Is there anybody in this place that wants to put on Jesus? You want Jesus to fill you so you can pour out. Come on, sing it out. Are you humble? And more of you and less of me. More of you and less of me. And more of you. Jesus. Maybe you're not sick and tired of being sick and tired, but I remember when I realized that there was nothing good about my life without come Christ. Come on, come on. And maybe you got to get to that point. Maybe one day you will. But I feel like there's one person maybe in here that says, I'm tired of doing life without God. Hey. I'm tired of doing life without favor. I'm tired of doing life without joy. I'm tired of doing life without his peace. I'm tired of doing life without his blessing. Is there anybody that doesn't want to do it any longer without God? If God ain't in it, then I don't want it. More of you. it's Yahweh come on it's not your way it's Yahweh come on. I remember the day I got sick and tired drug addicted walked into a service finally encountered God and said I want to do it your way God I've searched the world and I got heartbroken I searched the world and left me addicted I searched the world and left me depressed I searched the world I was suicidal but I want to do it your way God and when God stepped in I said when God stepped in you need to expect tonight God's about to move in your life yes yes expect God to step in because he wants to move in your heart 
He wants to take control. He says, give me that shame. Give me that depression. He says this, he says, come to me. All you who are heavy laden. Did anybody come in heavy, weary, broken, tired, sick, needing breakthrough? And he says, cast your cares on me and I in exchange will give you rest. And I don't know about you, but that rest that God gave me, it was a rest that no drug could ever give me. Come on, come on. That rest, that satisfaction, that fulfillment, that peace, that purpose, it was something the world could never give. Yes, come on. Jesus says, peace I give to you, not as the world gives. It's a peace that surpasses all understanding. And when I felt that, that was the cry of my heart. And it's been the cry of my heart for 10 years. And more of you and less of me. More of Put your pride you down. Less of me. And more it's a humble cry. And more of you, Jesus. If you're not there tonight, you'll get there one day. But this is for the one. More of you and less of me. This is for the one. More of you that wants to surrender before the altar call even comes. You want to surrender right now. And more of you and less of me. More of you and less of me. And more of you and more of you, Jesus. If you want to surrender right now, you say, man, I'm just ready right now. Because I see some people with tears in their eyes. And, and listen, this is a house that will stop everything for you. Listen, we're a church that will stop everything for you. Come on, come on. We don't got to go on and preach. We don't got, listen, this is about you right now. It's about your moment. So if you say, man, I want to surrender right now. Right now, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost right now. If you feel that right now, lift your hands right now. I just feel like there's somebody in this place. There's somebody in this place. Come on, lift your hands right now. Yes, yes. Father God, I pray right now you bring breakthrough. God, you meet them where they're at right now. Full surrender, Lord Jesus. Full surrender, Lord Jesus. Full surrender, Lord Jesus. Full surrender, Lord God. Full surrender, Lord God. He says, I'm working on your behalf. I'm working on your behalf. Full surrender. I hear your call. I'm meeting you where you're at. Full surrender, Lord Jesus, right now. Mark him with your glory. Mark him for your glory. Mark him for your kingdom, Lord God. For your glory and your honor, Lord Jesus. Mark him for your glory and your honor, Lord Jesus. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. If you've been dealing with pain in your body, sickness in your body, raise your hand. And nobody might know about it, but you've been calling out to God. Let me tell you, He sees it and he hears your cry, and even if you feel like, oh, it's just a little pain, he cares. If that's you, raise your hand real quick. Come up here right now. There's a healing well taking place right now. Come up here, God cares, sis. God cares. God cares. He wants to touch you right now, God cares. Lift your hands, and everybody in this room, listen. Contend, contend with us and fight. Pray like your life depended on it. Stretch your hands right now. These are our brothers and sisters in Christ. Our leaders, just come behind them and put your hands on them. And I'm believing, I'm declaring over you that after tonight, the pain will go in Jesus' mighty name. That right here in this moment, healing will take place from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I rebuke and bind every attack physically against your people right now, Lord Jesus. Against your daughter, Lord God. I just pray right now, healing. Healing, supernatural healing, Lord Jesus. Supernatural healing, Lord Jesus. Come, God, and sweep through their bodies, Lord Jesus. You make it right, God. You make it right, Lord God. Believe it. Believe it. He said your faith has made you whole. Believe it. Believe it right now. Believe it right now, sis. Believe it right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Breakthrough. 
and freedom from sickness. Jesus, by the power of your spirit, Lord God, we command every infirmity to go in Jesus' mighty name. We command every sickness to go in Jesus' mighty name. Devil, you cannot attack our people any longer. Satan, you cannot have any place any longer. We rebuke and body right now. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, by the power of your spirit. By the power of your spirit, Lord God. spirit of death thoughts think thinking you're gonna die thoughts that are thinking you're gonna die if that's you raise your hand real quick father God I just rebuke and bind the spirit of death right now in Jesus mighty name off of your people I rebuke and bind that lying devil I'm gonna speak the word over you and tell you you shall live and not die the word of the Lord the blood of Jesus speaks a better word you will live and not die the spirit of death be broken off of God's people tonight in Jesus mighty name suicide be broken in Jesus mighty name yes God yes God suicide be broken you got victory tonight hey. you got victory tonight you got victory tonight you got victory tonight I got victory tonight I got victory tonight. Speak it over yourself. Say, I got victory. Speak it over yourself. Say, I got victory tonight. And death could not hold you. The veil torn before you. You silenced the bone. Sing it again. Say, death could not. And death could not hold you. The veil torn before you. Silence. Say death could not hold you, and death could not hold you. 
powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, Junior. Lift your hands. Lift your hands right now. Father God, I just pray right now. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God. The calling on your life yes, yes, yes. is too good to miss. Yes. I feel this from the Holy Spirit. The calling on your life is too good for you to miss. If you could only see the plans that God has in store for you. If you could only see the ministry that God has in store for you. The souls that will hear the good news because of your story. Evangelism. Evangelism is welling up on the inside of you. And if yes. you don't fulfill your yes. call, yes. many, many will miss out on the good news. So I challenge you today. I encourage you today. Fulfill your ministry. Fulfill your ministry because it's too good to miss out on. Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. And there's something that's going to shift in your whole entire family when you get on board. EGR, you will turn your family back to God. Together, the Bible says if one could put a thousand to flight, then two could put 10,000 to flight. So your whole family will shift. I believe it right now. Your whole family will shift in your obedience to the Lord. Yes, come on. And your brother, there's a missing link in your brother's heart that's been waiting to lock arms with you. And you will preach the gospel. And you will preach the good news. And don't let the enemy tell you that you wasted too much time. Don't let the enemy tell you that it's too late. The devil is a liar. He is the redeemer of time. God is the redeemer of time and the devil tries to lie to you. But God is the redeemer of time. Your choice, your choice to follow Jesus is big, it's massive, it's colossal, it's, it's too good to miss. talks about it moments and I won't miss this chance to see it at your feet whatever gets me to show up but you always do right on 
time. You're never too late, Lord God. You show up and you meet us where we're at. I thank you for your presence, Holy Spirit. And I pray that you continue to move during the word, during the preaching, during the offering, whatever it is, you would just continue to pour out your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we all say amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. How many had a moment right now?